Good morning, everyone. Hello there. How is your day? Are you ready for this week's lesson? Great. Let us review the lesson last week. Last week, we talked about three concepts. Number one, what happens to solid materials when heated? Number two, what happens to solid materials when cooled? And number three, mixtures and its two types, homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture. We learned that when solid materials are heated, the solid materials will change from solid to liquid because there is increase in temperature. Second, when it is cooled, it will change from liquid the solid because there is decrease in temperature. Lastly, there are two types of mixture, homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. Homogeneous is a combination of solid materials that are not distinguishable. While heterogeneous mixture, these are the combination of solid materials that are distinguishable therefore class last week we talked about solid to solid mixture today we will talk about three things number one solid to liquid mixture number two liquid to liquid mixture number three the effect of temperature in dissolving different materials let us first talk about solid-liquid mixture. Solid-liquid mixture is a combination of solid and liquid materials. Solid materials like powder detergent, coffee, powdered milk, and powdered juice dissolve in water. When these materials are mixed with liquids, you can see that they stay within liquid because of the color of the mixture. The sand remains the same when mixed with water. Other materials do not dissolve in liquid like chili, malunggay leaves, and onion. So meaning class, not all solid materials dissolve in liquid. Second, liquid to liquid mixture. What is liquid to liquid mixture? It is a mixture of two liquids. Some of these will completely mix when combined. Example is alcohol and water. When you mix alcohol with water, it will mix completely and you cannot distinguish the two. Next, some of these will form layers like cooking oil and soy sauce. So if you mix cooking oil and soy sauce, they form two layers and do not mix completely. And the third one is the effect of temperature in dissolving different materials. What will happen to copy when we put it in hot water and cold water? As you can see class, or if you do this at home, if we put coffee in hot water and if we put coffee in cold water, we can say that coffee dissolves quickly in hot water than in cold water. So meaning, there is effect of temperature in dissolving different materials. Some materials dissolve faster in hot liquids than in cold liquids. So therefore, temperature affects the dissolving process of different materials. Do you understand class the three targets for today's lesson? Very good. I hope you learn a lot for this day. That's all for today. See you next week for more exciting facts and learnings about science. Bye!